Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas red. Um, as you can see, it's very cute. Um, I will be showing you how to make the flower and um, how I made these flowers and um, how I made um, what they are attached to. The, the the part underneath the flowers. This is not of, made of crochet. I just added it to it, but it's not made of crochet. Um, hope that you find this video useful. It's very cute, as you can see. The flowers are very nice. I added a pearl in the middle of the flower. Hope you try it. So we're going to start by making three chains. I'm using this color for the middle of the flower. We go in the third chain. And we close it with a slip stitch. Now we're going to start the first row. We make three chains. We start with three chains one, two, and three. We go in the middle. These three chains, these serve as a treble so that we have to count it. And we're going to make 15 trebles. Now, when I say trebles, is in English, double crochet is in American. So, when you hear me say treble, I am, I am doing a double crochet. So, as I told you, the first three chains, those serve as a treble. And we're going to make another 15 trebles. So, in all, we have to have 16 trebles with the three chains. So you continue making the trebles until you have in all with the three chains 16 trebles because as I told you the first three chains those serve as a treble. We finish the row and we're going to close it with a slip stitch in the first chain. Now we're going to start the next one, the second row. We start with three chains. As I told you these three chains those serve as a treble. And we're going to make a treble in the same place where we made the chains. Now three chains, one, two, and three. We're going to skip one here. We skip it, we go to the other one. And we make another two trebles, one and two. Another three chains, one, two, and three. We skip this one, we go to the next one, and we make another two. One and two. We make another three chains. One, two, and three. We skip this one. We go to the other one and we make another two. One and two. And we're going to continue to row like that. Three chains. We skip one, we make two here, three chains, skip one, and we make two, skip three chains, skip one, and we make two. All around, in all, you have to have eight of these, eight of these. So we closed it, as you can see, with a slip stitch, and I cut the thread. I was, start, was finished with three chains, slip stitch, and the end, we cut the thread. Now we're going to use the red. I'm going to start with the red. Now, you see the two trebles here? The two trebles? We have to put the hook in the middle of those two. So, you put the hook in the middle here of those two, and we're going to work on this treble. We put the, ho the hook underneath this treble. That's where we're going to work, underneath the treble. We pull up a stitch, and we make three chains. One, two and three that serves as a treble those three chains serve as a treble now we're going to make another three trebles underneath that treble always working underneath that treble we're going to make three one two and three We turn the work, uh, so we work on the other treble, the other treble that was with, with her, with this one. We put the hook underneath, and we're going to make another four trebles underneath that treble, four trebles. One, two, two. 
three and four we turn the work now we're going to work on these three chains the first three chains here going to work on these and we're going to make four trebles one two three and four two chains and we're going to make another four in the same place one two three and four <clears throat> like that and that is the first one we have now we're going to start going the next two so we find these two these two trebles we put the hook here in the in underneath this one and we're going to make another four trebles we're going to repeat one <clears throat> two three and four we go on the underneath the next treble and we're going to make another four underneath this one one two three and four we turn the work around we go here and we make another four trebles one <clears throat> two three two three and four another two trebles two chains sorry we make two chains one and two and we make another four trebles so we make four trebles two chains and another four trebles two three and four <clears throat> And that is the second one ready to. We're going to go on the next one. These two, as you can see, we go underneath this one. And we're going to make another four trebles. One. Two. Three. And four. We turn the work around. <clears throat> and we work underneath the next one and we make another four one two three and four now we turn the work around we go and the next chains here and we're going to make another four four trebles here one on the chains on the three chains we made before one two three and four two chains one and two and we make another four one two three and four and that is ready to i'm going to show you the last one the last time then you continue on the others you go here you put the hook there pull up and you make four trebles we're going to make four trebles in the sec underneath the second treble so <clears throat> 
One, two, three, and four. You turn the work around and you make another four in the next one. One, two, three, and four. You turn the work around. Now you're going to make four trebles on the next chains here. We are going to make another four trebles. One, two, three, and four. Two chains. And we make another four in the same place. One, two, three, and four. And then you continue on this. Here you make two, four on this, four on this, then four here, two chains, four here. You continue the row like that. Now, as you can see, this is ready. All around, I finished it. We finish it. I made four, two chains and four. Now we go here, in, the chain, in here, and we finish it with a slip stitch. We close it with a slip stitch. Now, we're going to make four chains. One, two, three, and four. You turn the work around. You go here 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 and you pull up a stitch and we make a slip stitch you close it with a slip stitch we're doing here um so we can um do the leaves on these this this part that we're doing we have to attach the leaves there so if we close it with a slip stitch we make another four chains one two three and four now we go here here you see on top of it there is the space here here we go here pull up a stitch we close it with a slip stitch another four chains one two three and four now we go here we go here between these two here over here, we go there, we pull up a stitch, we close it with a slip stitch, another four, one, two, three, and four. So, now we go here, between the, the space here, we pull up a stitch again, and we close it with a slip stitch. Another four, one, two, three, and four. Now we finish over here. We go here between these two, we pull up a stitch, and we close it with a slip stitch. And then you cut the thread. And this part we're going to attach the leaves with, the, with here. Here we're going to attach the leaves. And we finish the flower is ready, and then you at you cut the thread here and the flower is ready as you can see now we're going to work on these as i told you on these to make the leaves on these so i'm going to use the green now i'm going to use the green you go here in the first one here pull up a stitch and we make 10 10 chains one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You turn the work around. Now, you go in the next space here, here, you go here, and this one, You and you make a single crochet there you make a single crochet 
Now you turn the work around and we're going to make eight trebles. So we're baking eight trebles here in the chains. <clears throat> so one, one, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, six, we're going to make six, six, seven, and eight. We make three chains, one, two, and three. We put the hook here, we close it with a slip stitch. And we're going to make another eight trebles. One, two, three, four, Five, <clears throat> six, seven, and eight. Now we go here where we made the trap, the single crochet, and we close it with a single crochet, and that is the first leaf ready. Now we're going to do the second one. We go here in the next one, we do a single crochet, another 10 chains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We turn the work around. Now, we go here where we made the other treb the other single crochet of the other leaf. We pull up a stitch, single crochet. We turn the work around and we're going to do the same like we did the other leaf. So we're going to make eight trebles again. So one, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven and eight another three chains one two and three we go here we close it with a slip stitch and we make another eight one two three four Five, six, seven, and eight. We go here and we close it with a single crochet here to make a single crochet. And the two leaves are ready as you can see. The two leaves are ready. The flower is ready and all. I will show you now down in the middle. I will be making a pearl. I will be put a, putting a pearl here in the middle. And the flower is ready. I'm going to stop for a while to remind you of my ebook. Um, in this ebook, you will find um, lots of pictures. Um, I also included some very easy patterns. This ebook is ideal for those who want to, to learn crochet and knitting. Maybe they have never, um, they haven't found anyone to teach them. So this book is ideal 
for those who wish to try and learn crochet and knitting. Um, hope you find it useful. In the description, you will find a link from where you can get it. And I will send it via email. As I told you in the description, you will find the link from where you can get it. So now I'm going to attach the, the flowers to this. As you can see, I um, cut two pieces of cartoon. I used two, so it, it is more, um, it's better with two. I cut two pieces of cartoon and circle. I also make an, made another circle in the middle. And I am um, using yarn all around. I'm turning the yarn all around it. Um, green yarn, you can use any color you want, but I'm using the green yarn all around and I will be attaching the flowers to it. Now I'm making this um, to use it to hang it. You need something to hang it to, to the door or where you're going to hang it. So I made 13 chains and I'm going, I'm making a single crochet or double crochet, depends how you call it. Single is in uh, American, double is in English double crochet in, in each chain that I have. So continue making a double crochet or single crochet, what you call it, in these 13 chains. So this I will be putting it here, as I told you, I will glue it here. I'm going to use the glue to, to attach everything. And um, so I have something to hang it with over there. So the flowers are ready, as you can see, I made a pearl in the middle and I will be at putting them here all around. And this one, the one in the middle, I made two, four um, leaves, two on one side and two on the other side. And I will be attaching the flowers like that, all around there. And as you can see, this is the final result, how it came. I attached this bow to, to it. It's not made of crochet. And that is where to hang it. I to, to hang it. And that's, I told you, I attached everything with glue. I put everything on that cartoon that I showed you um, with glue. As you can see, it's very cute. The flower is very easy to make. It's not difficult to make and it comes very cute. Um, hope that you found this video useful um, and that you try to make it. Bye for now.